Uh, wrapped up non-conference play last weekend. What do you take away from non the non-conference schedule as you prepare for WAC play? I think it's been very helpful for us this year. Um, we were a little bit unfortunate to lose the first two games of the season due to the, the weather and the hurricane that came through. So it was nice to get a rhythm of play. And we've got a handful of new players. They need to get adjusted to the new system, style of play, new teammates. And I think that's the purpose of the non-conference routine. You get into a rhythm, and we've done that really well. I think we understand now you know, how we're playing as a team, um, you know, how to attack as a group, how to defend as a group. Um, and we're starting to get a, a good deal of familiarity amongst the players. And I think now it's a good time to start conference play. Yeah, well, you mentioned conference play. You start off with the UMKC and Air Force. Uh, what do you want to see from your team this weekend? Uh, I mean, it's a difficult two places to go. Um, you know, Kansas City, they've had a, a very good start to the season. Uh, they're a very skillful, well-coached team. And an Air Force is always difficult to, uh, you know, to play at. Um, you know, a little bit of altitude up there too. And an Air Force have come out, you know, storming this year. So certainly two tough places to kick off with. But, you know, every game is going to be a challenge in the conference. Uh, I think the WAC has gotten you know, stronger with each year that I've been here. So th th there's not going to be any easy games. At the end of the day, we need to make sure we're ready to play um, and bring our best game. So I'm expecting two good games. Um, you know, I think we've hit a, a good rhythm. We just need to make sure that we can bring our best performance during those 90 minutes. What's going to be key for you guys, though, to, to have a successful conference schedule? I think right now, uh, in our third year, uh, we've probably got a, a good core of players within the, uh, the team. And I think we need to better use those players during the course of a Friday, Sunday weekend. I think sometimes in the past we may have had players in both games when they were starting to fatigue. You know, now we have to make sure that we can use the full squad. Um, players know, you know their positional roles and they can come in and, and give us some very good minutes over the course of both games in a weekend. If we can do that really well, it'll you know, alleviate a little of the pressure on some of the other key positions and hopefully it'll keep our performance level high throughout both games.